Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a full face of products that I absolutely love and then something fun on the eye just because I feel like, you know, let's, let's do something fun today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe and then I will see you in other videos. Let's get into it. So I've already done my brows um, just because I just thought, well, we'll get the brows out of the way and then they're done then. Yeah, so the brows, that um, on my brows I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, um, which I absolutely love and I cannot stop using, um, in Ash Brown. And then I've got the Revolution X Love Island Brow Gel, because that is my ride or die brow gel. I am now running out again, um, so I've ordered three more. And it is actually on sale at the moment as well, it's £3.50, so absolute bargain so i ordered three <laughs> but yeah so um because i want to do something big and bold on the eyes i feel like we need to go eyes first so let's go excuse this this was there this morning and i was like hell no you live in here rent free so what i'm gonna do is pop on the collection last imperfection blemish concealer and this is a 16 hour wear this is in the shade Possil Possil I can't say that word Possilium Possilium in the shade 2 if you can read this then yeah I cannot say that word <laughs> so I'm going to take a flat brush and then I'm gonna literally just carve out my brow I need a really really light base for this makeup because we're going bold you need to have basically a white base this is as white as I'm gonna get I think so as you can see we've got this like really white base now that is going to be so any pigment of the eyeshadow will sit on top of that and not distortion the colour or anything. So it'll go on the colour that it should go on. And I'm just going to take my little beauty blender. This is the Coco Cosmetics one. And just blend that out. Like so. Now... I really don't know what colour to go with. So I was tempted to do like a, a wheel, spin the wheel thing. Um, so we might do that. Don't know yet. Haven't decided. Anyway, the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to go in with is the Rude Afflix, a Rude Afflix original series and now streaming City of Pastel Lights palette. This is insane. The colours. Wow. You know, it's just, and it's got a little mirror, which is also really, really good. And it's such a cute little, like, case. So practical, it can go in your bag. And this is, like, perfect. I think this palette is, like, perfect for festivals and stuff like that because it does really have every colour that you want. Every colour of the rainbow, which I absolutely love. So, shall we do the colour wheel? Comment down below, yes or no. Shall we do the colour wheel? Shall we make Google pick our colour? So yeah, comment down below. Shall we get Google to pick our colour? I think we should. So, the colour wheel. So have I got every colour on there? Yeah, I do. So this is the colour wheel. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to tap it to spin. Okay. Orange. Orange is our first colour. Okay, let's, let's do this. The orange is very, very pigmented very very bright so what i'm thinking is maybe i'll i'm thinking of a cut crease so doing like an orange and then maybe another color underneath the eye whatever obviously google picks for us 
So, oh, extremely pigmented. <clears throat> Let's just pop this on the eye. Look at that colour. That is bright. It doesn't matter if it has gone down to my eye because like I said I am going to just do a cut crease. It's also got a bit of shimmer in it. Just thought I'd put that out. But that colour is absolutely unreal. Okay. Let's choose another colour. Okay, so again, let's tap the wheel. Yellow. This is really being kind to me. I think this is going to work. <laughs> so yellow is called Yellowed Abbey. But yeah. She's bright too. And I think we should just blend the yellow above that orange. That's what I feel like we should do. Just like so. that is unreal i also feel like i should pop some yellow in that inner corner area mm. just like so because that would just really brighten that up i feel now let me go back in with some orange just to deepen that orange up again Oh my god. This look so far is already, I'm already loving it. There we go. That is looking a lot better. Okay, so now our crease. We've cut our crease. Just like so. Next colour. So I really don't know, I really don't know what, what's going to happen now because this could all go horribly wrong. Green. Okay, that isn't too bad. We can work with green. Green isn't, you know, green's not a bad colour. So I do have two greens in here. I have the green wife and then i have lime of duty so maybe we could go from a dark to a light should we do that mm. yeah let's do that so this is green of the green wife so i'm thinking let's just stamp that on Oh my god. And then take Lime of Duty and put that on the outer edge. Just trying to blend them together as much as I can. This is looking insane. <laughs> Talk about random, but do you know what? I actually quite like it. It looks pretty fun. Come on, we're having fun here. There's nothing wrong with having fun. 
I'm just going to deepen up that yellow just a little bit more. And then add a little bit more orange. Just so you can see every colour in that. That is insane. I love that. Yeah, I'm happy. Let me go off camera, do the other eye, and then I will be back. Okay, so that is both eyes done. I love it. It looks fun. Like, mm, it looks fun. To add to this, I feel like we need some rhinestones and gems because I feel like that will make it look insane. Insane. So, my idea is, so I have these, I got them from Amazon, they have all different sizes, so I'm thinking maybe a big one going into, big one in the middle maybe going out to little ones, should we do that, should we try and do that anyway, that looks insane, look at that glisten, oh my god, I don't think they're, they could be more even, like don't get me wrong, I do understand they need to be a little bit more even, but they are a faff and we're just gonna leave it like that we did the best that we could okay we did the best that we could okay so um let me just put on some mascara so then we can stick on some lashes so this is the um l'oreal paris telescopic lift mascara and this is insane but for this type of look, I think you need lashes. Like a hundred percent you need lashes. For this to look. So while that is sitting doing its thing, we're gonna move on to face so then our mascara can dry. So the foundation that I'm gonna go in with is my ride or die. Uh, this is the Revolution IRL filter foundation. Um in f5 this is honestly my ride or die i love this because it is just yeah like i said i'm gonna be doing makeup that i absolutely love and love using and i can show you why this is my ride or die because that spot there yeah she's gone she is gone the next product that I'm going to go in with is the Made by Mitchell blush in Toned Up for my contour. Then I'm going to go in with the best concealer on the market at the moment and it is the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer and this is in the shade FS, eh, SF0.5N. This is honestly another ride of dye of mine. But she is absolutely beautiful. And I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You see? Mm. She's beautiful. And then, to literally piece all this makeup together that we've just put on, I'm going to go in with the uh, the Beauty Crop Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Mist. This on my beauty blender, and honestly, it will literally hold all your makeup in place, and using your beauty blender, it helps it all blend together as well, really, really nicely. So now our beauty blender is all nice and damp. I then go in and just bounce this on my face and it will just melt that makeup, makeup into each other and just make it look flawless. 
and it will just look unreal. Can you see like that? That is just push that makeup into each other and just blend it out like super super nicely honestly you cannot go wrong then i'm gonna go in with powder so i'm not actually gonna put any cream blush on i'm just gonna go straight in with powder so the powder that i'm gonna go in with is the i heart revolution banana baking powder this is insane i love this i love the way it performs and i just yeah it's definitely um up there with makeup that I love and I do actually go in with the puff 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 I do like to use the puff and then just sit underneath my eyes so I always go in with my under eye first and look at that you see the difference like how smooth that is unreal and this is just by using their puff but i feel like because the puff is really nice and soft it just blends over it really really nicely and then i just go over my whole face with the puff because i just really want to set this face you see how smooth my skin is looking now because i've just set that like watch my forehead like you see how smooth that is now like unreal unreal baby all over me the next thing I'm going to go in with is bronzer. So this is the Revolution X Love Island bronzer in the shade Mega uh, in the shade Mega Bronzer Vacation. This is I love it because it's like it's got that contrast between warm and cool. It's got a bit of both, and I think that's what I love about it because it has the it has the both so it just they just complement each other and it just makes your skin look absolutely flawless but it is very pigmented so be careful if you do go and use it like literally one dip is enough because she is pigmented as you can see you can see the pigment so i just like to tap it on first and like i'm tapping and dragging at the same time so as you can see now we've got that really really nice sort of blend but yeah i do love this this is absolutely stunning i feel like a frog with this eye look i do i feel like a frog a little bit froggish <laughs> Oh no, I just put that away and I didn't contour my nose. <laughs> right, and I'm going to use this as well to contour my nose. Like, can you already see the difference? Which side I've contoured? It's, it's, it's insane, it is insane. Then we're going to go in with blush. Um, I'm going to be using the Made by Mitchell um, Pressed Blush in Milkshake. This is gorgeous. I think we need to really put some on because I think this will really help with that eye look. And it will just make that eye look pop a little bit. Do you know what I mean? But we want a really nice base. Again, this product is super pigmented, but she is like pigmented and subtle at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Is that, is that a thing? It is now. <laughs> it's a thing now. I know what I mean. Like, it's there, but she's still subtle. But yeah, she is pigmented. Like, a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Do you know what I mean? Do you get it now? Yeah. Okay. We're there. We get it. 
Okay, um, highlighter. Um, of course, it's only going to be one highlighter palette that I absolutely love at the moment, and it is the PS um, Highlight and Glow 4 Shade Eye Highlighter Palette. This is the Primark one. That gem is doing my head in. It will not stay. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go in with the pink one because I do oh stunning it just complements the blush a little bit do you know what I mean oh look at that <laughs> my see like, you can't see anything and then as soon as I turn my head like boom she's there she is there absolutely bloody gorgeous um do I do underneath my eye let's go in with a little bit of rose gold underneath that eye just to give that a bit of a glow. We'll just lift that area as well, which is what I love. You gotta lift this stuff. Okay, then obviously it is um, eyelashes. So the eyelashes that I'm gonna go in with are the unicorn unicorn lashes these are an instant famous there is two sets in here um because there is another set that's kind of sneaked in there that i don't actually the glue that i'm using is the uh primox duo glue it's really really good look how glittery they are i love that <laughs> i love that so i'm just going to go in with the telescopic mascara and i'm just going to do my lower lashes I don't want a i don't want to actually put any um eyeshadow on that lower lid because I just think it looks good I don't want to take too much away from the top if you know what I mean I just want to have that really dramatic eye and then just some little lashes underneath and then a big dramatic lash on top do you know what I mean I know what I mean somebody knows what I mean okay so my camera just died um that is the lashes on this is actually looking like a really really nice look so far i feel like we need a big bold lip though so i want to go maybe a nice nudie lip should we go nude yeah let's go nude um this is the steve laurent lip liner in the shade uptown and let me just zoom you in a little bit more and I feel like I want to overline my lips just that little bit. Can you see? This is like super, super creamy as well. I think that that kind of like helps. Do you know what I mean? Like my lips are really crazy right now. <laughs> so this is the um, Body Shop Matte Liquid Lipstick. So we are gonna go matte and then I'm just gonna put a gloss over the top. This is in the shade, I wanna say Lisbon. Let's, let's just say Lisbon. Oh, that is like the Her Hit Ombre Lip. This color. That is the perfect ombre lip. Look at that. Oh my god. Now I don't, I'm pretty sure these do dry down, um, but not, not massively 100%, but they are super, super creamy. And yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. I am happy. I am so happy. This look is honestly, yeah, let's just go in with a bit more of the uh, Glow and Milk Mist. I feel, 
Do you know what? This is also giving me sort of drag queen vibes. Like, obviously they have a lot bigger eye than this. This is a lot subtle to drag queen, let me tell you. But it's definitely like the lashes and stuff, the lip. It's definitely giving me that drag queen sort of vibe. I absolutely love drag queen makeup. And the, the way they do it is so insane so insane it just it's just it's art it really is art but this lip isn't really drying down to be honest yeah the slip isn't really drying down not gonna lie well this is this is the finished look how insane is that? I freaking love it. Oh, I love the gems. They're so sick. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Love ya. Bye.